Hello, this is Cole Glenn with the Salon Angler um, here in Durango, Colorado. Uh, just wanted to thank you guys for tuning in here this, this afternoon. Um, we're going to kind of do a holiday gift guide uh, with Five Rivers Trout Limited, our local chapter here in Durango. Uh, talking about some new and existing items that uh, you might find useful or handy for the angler in your life. So we're going to start the uh, categories off with the under $50 category. First item is going to be the grapplers, which is sunglass holder. Um, what's unique about this one is that it has recycled fly line and uh, it's pretty limp. So you don't have a lot of kind of catching between your, you know, your jacket, your hood and your sunglass holder. Um, another item is going to be the Confluence Net Release 2.0 from Fish Pond. This was a popular seller for us, and this last year they were redoing it, so they didn't have a lot of these in stock. But uh, you have a coil retractor here that stretches out to 96 inches, 11 pounds of a magnetic hold here with a holder for your connection to your net. The next item here is gonna be the Scientific Angler Rod Sleeve. These come in two sizes, half and full. Um, What's nice about this is that uh, it's a great way to protect your rod when you're storing it inside your car, or if you have a rod vault, it's a good way to protect the rod from inside the rod vault. Um, they are a good, useful tool. Um, you gotta be kind of careful with your rigging and your flies catching on this, but there is a way to uh, kind of sort that out. Rod sleeve from SA, good tool. Next is gonna be the catch em release tool. These come in three different sizes, uh, midge, standard, and big bug. Um, these are kind of gimmicky, but uh, in reality, they are a very useful tool, um, especially if you're fishing in the winter conditions and you have uh, you don't want to take the fish out of the net or out of the water. Um, just slide this tool right down the line to, to your fly, give it a twist, and it uh, comes right out. Good tool for um, big fish also, and then uh, you know winter tool. Next, we're going to talk about the fulling mill uh, box series. This is the tactical box. Um, slit foam on the inside plus a swing leaf. This has the capacity to hold 960 flies. Um, this one comes in at $39. Uh, we also have streamer box, a hopper box, uh, pocket size, and then also a um, tactical box. But uh, good selection from, from uh, Fulling Mail. Come check them out. Um, see if you can get yourself a box for Christmas. Another item, this will actually be our last one for this category, is going to be the fish pond replacement bag. Um, a lot of fish pond nets out there in the area, and uh, just because your net bag gets old doesn't mean the net's useless. Um, definitely get yourself a replacement bag, black and white for colors, in uh, four, or five, four to five sizes depending on the size of your net. But it uh, um, comes with the string and the needle to sew it in. Uh, I've replaced my bag numerous times and uh, it's pretty easy, self-explanatory. Uh, get yourself one of these, thank you. Next, we're gonna be talking about uh, the category between 50 and $100. Um, the first item we're gonna mention are these Duck Camp uh, apparel. These are bamboo shirts. Um, super comfort, comfortable, uh, soft, um, got UPF protection in here. Uh, these are a great base layer in the winter time, nice light layer uh, summer as well. But uh, these are coming in at $50. Uh, we have a good size run, uh, two different colors. Next we're going to talk about is uh, some apparel from Orvis, uh, both in the men's and women's category. Um, a lot of these are going to be in, the, in that $100, $50 to $100 range. Um, first, we're going to start off with the sweater jacket. Uh, this is the bourbon color. Um, also in that same style, you have the, the sweater vest. Continuing on, uh, got a couple different flannels for ladies as well. Um, the Flat Creek flannel, which is kind of like your mid-weight, and then the mid-mountain flannel, which is going to be a bit more of your heavyweight. Um, Really nice fall and winter um, flannel jackets here. Jumping over, uh, we finished up with the ladies uh, apparel. We're gonna move over to the men's apparel now. Uh, same flat creek flannel for men, medium weight, and then the uh, perfect flannel, which is more of your heavyweight. This one is a pretty thick uh, flannel feel and shirt. It, it feels a lot like a shacket, which uh, is something that I really like to wear during these winter months. Um, <clears throat> 
Another shirt in that price point is gonna be the fishing hybrid shirt from Rep Your Water. This has the button up front, kind of your polyester finish here with um, some variations on the sleeves and as well with the hood on it here. This is gonna be your best of your performance polyester shirt and your traditional button up fishing shirt. And this one has the fly design. This one has comes in this design as well as uh, an olive color. Next we're gonna be talking about is the brand new uh, Elkhorn Lumbar Pack from Fish Pond. Uh, Fish Pond didn't come out with a whole lot of new products this year, but this was one of them. Um, and it's just kind of a combination of many of their lumbars, kind of taking the best features of them all. But uh, two water bottle holders on each side, adjustable waist strap. Uh, on the inside, it does come with the shoulder strap for the secondary relief there. One big zippered pocket in the front. Um, it's got rod storage capacity down here, or maybe a rain jacket. Um, plenty of spots to dock your tools, your, tip, your, head, your head gate tippet holder. And then as well on the back here, um, it does have the net slot from the top, or if you prefer to have yours kind of coming through the side. Elkhorn Lumbar, 99 bucks. Hi, Jacob, assistant manager at San Juan Angler. Going to talk to you a little bit about our fly lines that we have in that kind of bridge that just under 100 to right over 100. Uh, new for us this year, we have picked up Airflow. They have been a good line for us. A urethane line, uh, they last a good long while. Uh, nice thing about Airflow, they do recycle PVC lines, so if you bring in a used line, you can get $10 off a new Airflow. Uh, nothing really new from Rio this year. Uh, their Elite Series is the best that Rio's got, and uh, a lot of people really love it. The real thing uh, that we've picked up this year are some new lines from Scientific Angler. Uh, for you classic tackle anglers like myself, we do have a nice series of double tapers in that $80 range. Uh, one that has become a great favorite of most of the locals is the Creek Trout. This is a rear rearward taper fly line, all the weights in the back. It helps maintain great loop stability uh, in roll casting. It is a full weight heavy at the back end. So if you have a slower action, relaxed action rod like a Winston Pure or a fiberglass, I would weight this down one. Uh, you fast action guys and gals out there, I would keep it straight with the label. Uh, some new things from SA, uh, not new in tapers, but new in coatings. Uh, we've got the Infinity taper, which is now offered in a textured, that's in the 130 range. Uh, another one in the textured that we just picked up is the Trout Standard. This is an extended length head for uh, mending from boats and it's great for casting great all around line with the trout standard we also have that in the mastery series it is the 80 dollar line uh amplitude smooth for you that really like your rods to load deeply uh the mpx series has been a favorite for many years is now available in a smooth which is that 99 dollar line and for the folks that like to fish our Highland Lakes. We now carry the Sonar Stillwater. These are all in five weights right now. We look at expanding that in the future, but any of y'all that get up to the lakes, this is a great line. Thanks. So here we're going to move on to the hundred to three hundred dollar category. Um, First item we're going to talk about here is the limited edition American Rivers Fish Pond Mid-Length Net. Um, this is a uh, river armor, which has the reinforced basket here. But uh, Fish Pond has done a number of different promos or limited editions. They've done the brown trout skin, the rainbow trout skin, and then most recently is this American Rivers uh, handle here. But uh, this is a, a net for a purpose. This is going to be selling for $1.90 and $20 from every net sold goes directly to the American Rivers organization. Um, good net to have with the long handle, um, also a good cause.
I'm going to move on to some tying items uh, in that one to three range. Um, these are some fly tying material kits that we put together here at the shop. Um, these are going to have material, thread, um, feather, synthetic. It's got dubbing wax. It's got uh, wire. Um, these are going to be enough material to tie streamers. We have some hooks in here, streamers, dry flies, and nymphs. Kind of a little grab and go thing. Um, this is 135 for the kit. We are going to uh, give you a discount of 40% off the kits if a purchase of also a vise or a tool kit. Um, we have the Peak Vise here. Rotary coming in at 185. Um, it's a great all around vise that's simple and effective with the pedestal base. The same vise that's gonna be with the non-rotary. And then we have uh, the Terra Kit Fireside Tool, which has the the vise and tools um, that comes in at 50. And then the complete loon tool set here, complete with all your um, D loop tweezers, uh, gator, dubbing spinner, uh, of course, the essential tools as well. But uh, kind of a nice thing if you know some fly tires that are looking to increase their material or somebody who's getting into it, the pack deal here is great, um, plus the vices and the uh, tool kits. All right, staying in that uh, one to 300 range, we have men's Orvis clothing here. Um, the recycled drift vest, bourbon, coming in at 140. And then the recycled drift jacket, coming in at 190. Two nice options for guys, uh, just for great all around wear. Um, recycled jackets, really good puffy, uh, warm material here. So we're gonna to move to the same category from the one to 300 range. Um, we're gonna talk about a few different backpacks and vests from Fish Pond. Um, we've seen uh, vests sales really well in the shop here over the last year. And we do think that vests are kind of making a comeback, uh, especially with the, the new ones or the newish ones from Fish Pond. Um, this one is the Ridgeline uh, backpack, which is just the backpack here. Um, plenty of external storage as well as a water bladder holder on the inside. A couple of net slots on either side here. Um, spots to attach accessories. And then what's cool about these features with these backpacks <clears throat> is that a lot of the vests and backpacks will integrate. Um, this one is the sagebrush mesh um, vest here. And you can see at the top, it's got clips. So you can technically take the pack off of this bag and attach it to the backpack, which is another cool one. The sagebrush is 159. The backpack here is 129. And then there's one more feature, which is the fire hole backpack, which is more of a kind of a backpacking sort of long trip um, bag. This one has the external feature here to carry waders and boots. So you hike in somewhere, carrying your waders and boots in, and then when you hike out and they're wet, you can have an external storage for them. Um, it does have net holders on either side here, as well as zipper pockets on the lumbar. Fully adjustable and integratable with um, a lot of the fish pond packs. But uh, great pack here, um, especially for those who like to get out into the backcountry. So next we're gonna move into the $300 to $600 category. And we'll be starting with the Orvis Recon nine foot five weight rod. We do have it nine foot four, nine foot five, nine foot six, seven and eight weight. But uh, the Recon is one of the best rods Orvis makes. It's definitely a step up from the Clearwater, um, but not much behind the H3. These ones are great all around rods, dry fly, nymph and streamer. Um, all nine foot four piece with the travel tube. Next, we're gonna be moving to another rod company that we've done very well with is Douglas. And this is the uh, Upstream series. Um, these ones are a really kind of finesse, high country rod, come in a variety of uh, lengths and weights. Uh, we have a couple, uh, seven, and a, seven foot three weight and a eight foot three weight that come down to a six piece. And then we also have a two weight and a three weight, eight foot and six foot that come in a four piece rod. But uh, great for around here and with the different lengths and uh, 
weights of them, you can kind of tailor it to, you know, your casting style and what you prefer to fish with in the high country. But two, four good rods that are in that 600 under range. The next item is going to be the River Smith River Quiver, which is a on the roof rack rod holder for vehicles. Um, these are a great tool for anglers, especially guides or somebody who has a lot of rods. Um, these come in a two banger, two rods, and then a four banger. Um, they come in a black, olive, and silver. But um, these range from 480 up to 720, depending on two versus four, and then as well as what color scheme you want of it. But um, we are a Riversmith dealer. Uh, we have limited supply here in the shop, but one cool feature is that they offer a drop ship. So you would come uh, here to the shop, buy one, and then we'd order one and have it shipped directly to your house. So it kind of eases the transportation of up and down the stairs to and from the car to the house where we can have this delivered basically right to your house. And they do have a lot of tools uh, that come with it as well as far as um, attachments for the, the hangers and uh, connecting the rod tube. But uh, they have a lot of accessories as well. So if you need an extension, um, you can do that. Or um, if you need to you know, move it around, it's pretty flexible. Next, we'll be moving to uh, a few waders and boots, both from men's and women's. Um, so the ultralight convertible waders are a great purchase. These are 400. Um, I don't know if anybody has seen these before, but these are convertible ultralight wader. So up right now as a chest wader, but can convert down to be worn as a waist wader. These are super nice because you have the suspenders to stay up, but you can convert that top section up and down, um, both men's and women's. And then another wader in that category is the Orvis Pro. These come in at 598. Um, lots of good features on this wader. Uh, it's definitely feature rich. Um, you have a pocket on the front here, uh, outside and inside. A nice feature here is there is a zippered hand line fleece pocket. Uh, it goes all the way through. The feature about that is that it's a zippered pocket. So if you're on a boat and you're rowing and you're getting your oars caught in your zipper pocket, you can close them, which is a great feature. Um, four layers in the bottom or excuse me, five layers on the bottom, four on top. Another nice feature with this is that they have a built-in knee pad, which is right here. Um, really nice when you're getting a picture of a fish or releasing it and you drop down right to your knees, you don't have to worry about any rocks or anything poking your wader. Um, that feature is also removable. And um, <clears throat> some good features on the inside. Z removable flap, which is good for tools. Lots of docking stations here, two zippers on that. Um, Orvis Pro Waders. Okay, uh, we're gonna move to the $600 and over category. Basically a 600 to a thousand. Uh, we had just talked about the Orvis Pros. Um, the next step up and the highest line of waiter that Orvis makes is the Orvis Pro Zip. Um, all the same features that the Pro has, but you have a full zipper top here, which makes getting in and out of the waders much easier, um, using the restroom or the bush much easier. Um, still the removable knee pads, um, all the same features, but uh, a great waiter, 749 for the zipper, but uh, really good heavy duty kind of winter uh, waiter. Talking about some reels in that price point, um, it's gonna be the Ross San Miguel. This one's a uh, five six weight. Um, it runs a three four four five and a five six, but uh, full solid reel on the back. Um, beautiful black. They're also coming out with this reel new in 2023 in the platinum version. But uh, being how heavy this reel is, uh, it matches really well with uh, bamboo rods or fiberglass rods that you want something that's a little bit more heavy in the butt section. But uh, a really nice reel lo made local here. So a great rod in um, the $600 and over price point is the Douglas Sky G. Um, this is one of our best selling rods. Uh, this one places number one in the Yellowstone shootout that happens every year. Um, very responsive rod, kind of some new technologies with the resin. Uh, it's 
four piece, nine foot four piece. We have it in eight and a half foot four, nine foot four, nine five, nine six, nine seven, and nine eight. So it'd be a great trout rod. Also could be a phenomenal uh, saltwater rod or just kind of big game in the eight weight range. But uh, 840, 849, I believe for the Douglas Sky G series. The next category is something for the angler who has everything. Most likely that person does not have a local crafted bamboo rod made by Jacob Rash with between two banks. Here we have a seven foot nine inch double taper bamboo rod with two tips um, made right here in Mancus. Um, Jacob has been making rods for many years and uh, has some very fine craftsmanship on his bamboo rods. The last category we're going to talk about is stocking stuffers. We have a lot of great uh, knickknacks that are perfect for stocking stuffers. These could include uh, rep your water koozies, socks, thermal headbands. This could be Montana Fly Company fishy flasks and printed trout boxes. Um, we have some cool rod holders and tippet storage and trash containers that are always good for anglers. Um, something to think about is skin protection. So we have some sunscreen from Fish Pond. That would be great. Come and check out some of our pre-loaded fly boxes. Um, stickers are a good one. And we have some chapstick as well. Um, but you got to come by the shop and kind of check out and see what we have. And I'm sure we can find something to fill the last few items in. Well, thanks for tuning in to our uh, holiday gift guide in cooperation with Five Rivers TU. Uh, before we sign off, we just wanted to kind of give a few shop updates kind of leading into the holiday season and also the winter season ahead. Um, we are going to participate in Noel Night coming up this Friday. So we'll have some uh, more shop deals uh, and sales here in the shop. We'll have a tying demo by Greg Ferda. Um, we'll have a few other little games and such uh that night um we will be open 9 a.m to 5 p.m seven days a week uh and we'll be open nine to six on fridays and saturdays um during the months of december january and february we're going to offer guide trips for 25 percent off whether that's uh weight or float trips uh depending on the number of anglers but 25 percent off our guide trips for the next three months um looking ahead <clears throat> um kind of towards the holiday shopping season We'll be running some flash sales uh, in the shop, which we'll put out ahead of time on what those deals will be. Um, we'll probably do like a 12 days of Christmas sale and each day we'll have a, a, an item on sale that day only. Um, and then uh, even looking further ahead, uh, we will be participating in Snowdown again this year. Um, that'll be a Shakespearean theme. We'll have our fly tying competition here in the shop on the Thursday night from five to seven. And then we'll also have our casting competition in the park, Snyder Park on Saturday from 11 to one. Um, we just want to thank everybody for uh, who participated in our fall raffle. Uh, we had a lot of entries. We had uh, selected the winners just this last Friday. Congratulations to all those people. Um, Thank you for everybody who we saw during the Black Friday or Black Flies Day and uh, Small Business Saturday. Appreciate your business. And if we didn't see you then, hopefully we'll see you here in the next couple of weeks. Um, thank you for tuning in and uh, happy holidays.